What's the longest you would drive for a cup of coffee? 10 minutes maybe, 15? We drove 55 minutes for these coffees and it was worth it. <laughs> Is it ridiculous that we are driving 55 minutes for an average cup of coffee? Yes. Are we very excited? Yes. I have been sick this last week, and so I've really just been in the house, kind of sad and bored. So we're just kind of using this time to get out. I feel like I'm like a little bit out of it right now, but I definitely feel better. There is a slight um, to your voice. You know? Oh, yeah. thank you. We decided what better way to pass the time than to go get some coffee an hour away. I can't think of anything better. You can't really like run around anyway. So we're going to Dutch Bros. Yeah! We discovered Dutch Bros when we went to Las Vegas. I saw like a TikTok about it. Their logo is a cute little windmill. So cute. And so we were like, let's try it. I liked it, I thought it was good, but Maya fell in love with it. I love it. Yeah, see something about me is I love a sweet little bev. You know, like, give me a sweet little bev to have in hand any day, any time, I will take it. Hold on, I, I, gotta, I gotta change lanes. Safety first. My lips are so chapped because I'm just like, well, hang on, I'm getting chapstick. Get chapstick. Good. When we get there, should we get our coffees and then do like a little Q&A? Yeah. Or like do some couple coffee and questions. I like it. Let's do okay, it. Okay, let's do that. It's kind of a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. I mean, and I'll be outside again. Po <sighs> if I'm like louder than usual or quieter than usual, it's because my ears are completely like, like you know when like when like it's like you can't like um like it's you've got cotton balls in your ears. Yes. You know when you're sick. I think that you have cotton balls in every sense you have right now. Because yes. Our dog. I looked in our room last night. I woke up because it was wretched, the yeah. smell. It I woke me up. The smell woke the you up. The smell woke me up. And it, Maya was like, what are you doing? I was like, can you not smell that? And she I was, was like, like, I can't smell anything. <laughs> she literally goes, no. <laughs> cotton balls in my nose, cotton balls in my ears. My eyes feel a little cotton ball-y too, in fact. Yeah. Can Just you even see the camera? I'm saying that I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm what looking, was that? I'm this way as I'm saying. Uh, Should we go on Instagram and ask people to ask us questions? Let's do that. People have always done that and I'm always like, that looks so funny. Let's, let's do it. We are here and the line is long. Very long. It goes there, goes all the way around. And then all the way that way. And then all the way there. Our time in the car continues. Also, I have my sassy sunglasses on because I lost my other sunglasses. Oh, so now, moment of silence for the serious sunglasses. But a moment of celebration for 24 seven party sunglasses. Uh. Still in line. We've been in line for how long you think? Almost as long as it took us to drive here. <laughs> We're almost there. Give it to me. We've got our drinks. I got the Golden Eagle Latte, and it's just a latte with like caramel and vanilla and caramel drizzle. But it comes with Breve, which we think is crazy that you would ever drink a latte full of half and half. That would hurt my tum tum. So she got 2% milk. I got a Golden Eagle Cold Brew, half sweet and with Breve. Cheers. Getting a pic for Insta. Not my best. <laughs> We're gonna answer some Q and A questions by our Instagram followers. If you don't follow us there, it's at Mayan Hunter on Instagram. What's the first question? First question is very fitting. How and when did the coffee addiction start? I started drinking coffee when we were 16. Yeah. Uh, I would load up my Starbucks app and get it before school. My original coffee order was caramel macchiato. a caramel macchiato. Then I think you working at Starbucks made you more addicted. Yeah, too. I didn't start like being like, okay, I need coffee to wake up in the morning until after I worked at Starbucks. For me, I started drinking coffee at like 15, but I was kind of casual about it. I would just get like a peppermint mocha at Christmas. You know? Seasonal. And I feel like I was pretty casual all of high school. Yeah. And then I think college, like needing the energy is where it started for me. Recently. I've given up coffee here and there. I have not. I'd be curious to see what would happen. No, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Next question. Um, everything I've gotten at Dutch Rose has been too sweet. Any recs on what to get next? So I think you wouldn't like my drink, but I think you would like Hunter's drink. Half sweet's the way to go. Their cold brew's really good. Yeah. Just with a splash of breve, it doesn't make it as bitter, but it's like a good coffee It's taste. way less rich than the latte. Mm -hmm. Okay, place you want to visit. 
I think we both really want to visit Europe soon. We studied abroad in Germany our sophomore year of college, yeah. traveled all throughout Europe on the weekends, it and had a blast. That'd be, be really a dream. Fun. Want to do that again soon, yeah. hopefully. How old were you when you met? When we met, we were 14. But I always get confused by this question. So are you talking about that time when we met when we like didn't, like no, at the no, conference? No, the first day of school, we were 14 here. We technically passed like two ships in the night. We were like 13 or 12. Yeah, that's at a, a funny at a, story. At a leadership conference, and then we met officially, like shook hands and everything in a high school, the first day of school. And, and then, then started dating at 15. At 15 in sophomore year, pretty much the be beginning of sophomore year. Next question. Are you Swifties? <sighs> Come on. We are Swifties. Eras tickets in August. We're so um, excited. Maya is, is like, tried and true, born and raised Swifty. Since like fifth grade. I, she was um, converted. I was converted. I love her now and I appreciate it, her lyricism so much more as I've gotten older. Thoughts on high school relationships? <laughs> I mean, it's funny because for us, clearly pro. Pro letting high school relationships blossom as they will. Having your kids not be allowed to date like I was is not a good call because I did it anyway and yeah. lucked out with someone like Maya, but a lot of the internalized suppression that came from that was bad. What is your favorite thing to do together? Walk and get coffee. So we got to walk later today. Cheers. And that is it. Those are some of our favorites that we got. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, this was a lot of fun. It's really fun. We'll see you guys next time.